Good evening, everyone. I'd like to return to comparing these two radios, the Texan R909 and the XH Data D328. And I had a previous video on these where I compared them with the internal antenna. What I'd like to do today is to connect them to my external um, MLA 30 plus powered antenna. I'm just checking that the power is indeed on because sometimes I unplug it. But it is. So what I want to do is I think we're just going to look at the 49 meter band. I've poked around that with my Sanjian ATS 909X2, which is the radio I use most of the time. And it appears to be a pretty good night. So let's see what we can get with these two radios. And I will find a piece of paper here. And I'll keep track very roughly of how many stations we get. If I know what they are, I will let you know. I'm not gonna know all of them off the top of my head and I don't really wanna get around, get into trying to figure them all out as we go through. But uh, really we're just going for a subjective comparison of what does it feel like to use these radios and, uh, and what did they sound like? So when first we'll start with the 909X2, we'll check that the band switch is on one, which is 49 meters. I've clipped the antenna onto the antenna. There's no antenna jack on this radio. And I know from my experience with this is that the uh, DX and local sensitivity switch has to be on local or it will load badly with this antenna. So one band one, we're going to find along here. This uh, dial is not very accurate, but that doesn't really matter for this purpose. So as always, it starts on FM. I should say we're about a quarter to 11 Eastern Daylight Time here in Toronto. something in there, but it's very weak. Okay, so that gave me seven stations that came in reasonably well. I do want to see There's definitely some overloading going on in here with this antenna. Okay. 
Yeah, there might be eight. We'll call it seven and then maybe, maybe eight. Oh, this pen is acting up on me. Okay, so that will give us some idea of what this can do. And as you said, if there was some overloading in the top of the band, even on with the local switch position in place, but in general, the strong stations that did came in, came, come in, came in well, and no problem there. But it's certainly right at its limit with this antenna. Let's switch over to the XH Data D328, uh, and we will go its 29 meter band is band two on here. And uh, We'll clip this on here. Just a reminder, this is a, a DSP-based radio, so it's got a digital tuner. So you'll hear that as we tune through, and it'll have a different sort of sound to it as we tune. As I mentioned in my earlier video, I have a D209 on order, which is kind of the recent sort of radio that people seem to be interested in in this series. I bought this one a couple of years ago when this was the radio that everybody was all on about. I used to keep it in my office. It's kind of like, it's, it's a fun radio. And the band goes down a little farther on this. Not that I think we'll find anything before 5.8. I'm sorry. Straighten that up. This is getting Cuba and better, which is what that is. I was trying to hear it. It's one of the reasons I went back with this one. I did think I heard it, but this is clear. And that should be Radio Marty on top of it. Now we had overloading in this area. This is NHK Radio Japan. I was going to say, we aren't hearing some of the upper band stuff we heard on the text then. But I think that's it there, very weakly. Okay, so what do we find out from this? Well, you listen to the two radios, so you'll have some idea about which you liked better and which you didn't. In terms of what they were able to bring in, I think for all the North American stuff they did, fair, they both did fairly well. The the 909, R909 pulled in seven, I think, eight stations actually, um, of which seven of those came in very strongly. The uh, XH Data D328 pulled in 10, and it managed to pull in perhaps the two most interesting ones, which is Radio Habana from Cuba, and it also managed to pull in 
pull in Radio Japan, NHK Radio Japan, which is coming from Islington, France. So, I mean, I think there's not too much question that the SH data is the better shortwave radio here.